snorkels digging into those ribs. Look good stuff. Oh. Again, sorry for the moans and groans. Oh, jeez, Broly. <laughs> That's a lot of goat, too, and it's a little upsetting they don't want it. Well, it looks like Scarlet's getting in on that goat action. Hi, Ruka. Hi, Ruka. Hi. Aruka probably is her and Nurgle. That's Nurgle right here. Um, they're probably the most submissive of the bunch. Um, these two being the most dominant of the bunch. And then probably her and then Mayhem. And that kind of depends on the day for the last two. Um, oh, hi, babies. Okay, this is all your dust. Playing in the dirt. Um, Mayhem here. She was my keeper from the litter because she is just awesome. And you know, I tried finding a cone for her. Uh, honestly, didn't have much interest, which is okay. Not a lot of people have experience with this breed, so uh, I, I was like, I'll keep her. I got no problem doing that. Um, and I, I talked before about it and some potential pairings lined up for her in the future um for my program uh can't go into much yet but i'll just say i have three really nice potential pairings with her maybe four and i'd have to decide which one i want to do i might be able to do two but we'll see oh now ruka's getting in on that She's getting in on that. Look at that. Scarlet. 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 And uh, some people ask too if they just want to see me like interacting with the dogs. Um, you know, I'd make a fine video, like a couple minute video. But I, I'd prefer doing stuff like this over that because. I mean, it can, I feel like it can only be so entertaining watching me, like, pet dogs for five minutes. And in this way, you kind of get to see them eating and getting pets. Oh, honey. Oh, oh, I hit you with the camera. Oh, did you lick the camera? Do you look in the camera? Honestly, can't wait for winter again because I hate this heat. Um, I do have something exciting coming up too. Uh, can't talk about it yet, but it'll happen within the month, and you guys will see that. I think it'll be better for all of us, especially the dogs here. So I can't wait. Illusion, can I see that now? Can I see that now? He's pretty hungry. He usually doesn't give a damn about food, but we kind of we didn't feed them for the last couple days much, 
because I wanted to do like a big pack feeding and then turns out I didn't have the chicken I wanted. Um, I, I must have fed it before, not even thinking about it, so. This is how crazy he's starting it. Ow. Scarlet. <laughs> Scarlet, eat the goat. Luca's eating the goat. Oh, she, yeah, she's had goat before. I've given her goat before. You know, when they're young, I try to give them a good variety of foods, but there's just some foods they're not going to like. Like, Rolly's not big on turkey. He's really not. Or tilapia. Uh, honestly, none of them are really big on tilapia, except for Ruka. I don't know why that is. Like, they've, they've had it before. They just never really liked it, even as pups. What? What? <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> Aruka will tell the pups off too, um, just because they're younger and at t like like I said, kind of between these two and those the three, honestly, it's a little more fluid in terms of hierarchy. Um, it's kind of fluid between these two as well, but usually Broly is kind of the one more in charge. Scarlet, you haven't eaten anything. Let's go. Eat that goat. I think the last time I did a pack feeding with they had the pups in it, that was when they did the rabbit. And these two kind of scuffle. I'll uh, I'll link that one in the description if I remember. So if you guys want to go back and watch that, it was back when we had Jello still. Uh, you can watch it. What is it, honey? Yeah? Yeah? You're goofy. You're a goofy dog. You can see her being submissive to Scarlet there. Oh, what? What did it? What did it? That's just a correction. Telling Scarlet to knock it off. <laughs> also just a correction. It's normal dog behavior. Normal language, like communication. She's not hurt. You're not hurt. Yeah, you're not hurt. That was a correction too. <laughs> what is all this, Ruka? What is all this? That's a good belly. That's a good belly. Scarlet's burying stuff. I uh, kind of clipped the grass back here. It's not great, so there's like loose grass. And Scarlet's berry and stuff, so that's nice. You can see some of Rolly's tufts right here. Kind of poking out. Oh, 
I don't know what Scarlet's doing. I got weird dogs, guys. <laughs> They're really weird dogs. She's not, she's not hurt, she's just overreacting, that's all it is. When they do those kind of like yelps and they're not getting bit at all, like then it's just... No, she's doing it because she wants that. Even though there's some right there. It's okay, like I said, there's enough to go around. Um, yeah, so what she was basically doing, I don't know if any of you guys remember when you were kids with your siblings, your siblings chasing after you get in a fight and you're running away screaming owie, owie, owie before, you know, your sibling even touches you. Like, that's kind of the same thing. It's just being over dramatic. Um, again, she's not hurt at all. It's more just like a startle, like, oh, watch out. That's all it is. That's the best way I can describe it. Hey, handsome. Again, not Lucian right here, despite how much he looks like him. This is his son, Nurgle. Lucian's over there. Yeah, I almost wasn't going to do this today either. I thought it was going to rain more, but it like rained a little bit and then stopped. So I was like, ah, screw it. I'll do it today. Oh, I think I had my finger over the mic. Sorry uh, if that didn't come through. Um, I was, wasn't going to do this today. And then it, because uh, I thought it was going to rain. And then it uh, rained like for five minutes and then stopped. So I'm like, screw it. I'll do it today. Ugh. Rufus enjoying that rib cage right there. But yeah, if you are 76 pounds like your brother, you're gonna be my heaviest dog. Rolly's only 74 pounds, believe it or not. I like my dogs more lean. Um, Scarlet's honestly a little chonkier than what I'd like. Like Lucian, he's a good weight. You're a good weight. You're a good weight. You're a good weight. You're the chonky one. You guys are just cleaning those ribs right now. I think she's got the goat heart. Rook over here has got a goat leg. What's Lucian doing? What's Lucian doing? Huh? Hey, Lucian. We're not gonna do that right here. And sometimes with these guys, all you need is a look, and they'll be like, oh, crap, I'm sorry. Um, and of course. Like, sometimes you'll see, like, Lucian over here looks at one of the pups over here, and they, like, tuck their ears down or something. Um, that's all body language. And sometimes if, even to correct your own dogs, that's all you need to do is a look. Like I just did with Lucian. He's kind of he's looking, thinking about stealing his rib, I just gave him a look and he stopped and did his own thing. And that look is basically just a <laughs> like don't don't try it kind of look. Come on, Nurgle. Doing scurvage. Yeah, 
this is what I enjoy doing though. I like just sitting out here with the dogs. This proven the whole myth of raw food makes them aggressive. Because I can sit about a pack of wolf dogs and German Shepherd and not worry about you know having to watch my back or being on the ground. Like I got Ruka right behind me. Wolf dog right there, wolf dog right there. Intense German Shepherd right there. Wolf dog right here and wolf dog right here. I'm not worried about a thing. Uh, these guys sleep in my bed. Um, so, if, I mean, if raw food doesn't make wolf dogs aggressive, it's not going to make your normal dog aggressive. Um, and the other day, actually, these guys even caught a rabbit in the yard. Uh, again, this is the second time. Um, I'd still like to take them out rabbit hunting. I just have to find a good spot. But, yeah, they caught another rabbit. Uh, Broly ate it. <laughs> and... Um, you know, even them catching and killing their own prey doesn't make them aggressive. So if you guys ever hear that from anybody about raw food, oh, it makes them mean. Don't listen to them. There's plenty of demonstrable evidence showing otherwise. And that's all there is to it. Like, you can't, you can't get much more, uh, solid proof of something than a direct observation and demonstration of that evidence. Oh crap, this video is long. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to split this up into two parts just because um, it's kind of a pain doing it in one part. Because I feel like it takes forever to upload um, and edit and all that. So I'll probably split it up into two parts and then yeah, you guys can watch it. There'll be about 13, you know, grip. About 15 minutes apiece, because we're almost at 30 minutes now. Uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, you want to see more pack feedings when I get the deer, uh, just let me know. Because I'm sure you guys do, because I'll probably record them anyway, because I enjoy the pack feedings. Um, and I'll keep you guys updated on that surprise coming. Uh, I think everybody will like it and otherwise you guys have a good rest of your day here um, I'm gonna keep letting these guys eat and Say bye to the whole pack Lucian, Broly, Scarlet, Nurgle Lucian's rolling around Mayhem And Ruka's behind me So See you guys